Uh, greetings and blessings to all. Um, this is going to be like a little update on my situation. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, I had a pretty rocky couple of months, maybe six months since um, based on my astrology. This is what happens. I come back alive after like June and July. Um, it, it has a lot to do with um, my planets, the way they're aligned. Uh, it happens every year. I have a rough beginning of the year, January, February, March, uh, April, May. And then right around like June, I come back alive and then I, you know, I blast off uh, because my, my planet, the sun is, um, is waning or waxing. Oh, I should really know that. Hold on. Yeah, I pretty much have to check because I, I don't want to make a mistake. But yeah, so the beginning part of the year, since I'm a Sagittarius, so, uh, you know, I have six planets in Sagittarius. Therefore, right after my birthday, the sun, um, the sun starts waxing away from my planet. So it's kind of like a, like a stretching uh, effect. Um, that's, that's based on my progression chart. Um, which is basically, you know, when you're born, if you see where the planets are and uh, where the planets of today are and how they uh, are in alignment with, with your birth, your natal chart. Once I started researching this, everything started making sense because I have so many planets. I have six planets in Sagittarius. Uh, that means that when the sun leaves Sagittarius and it goes to, you know, Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and um, and then when once it gets back into Gemini, then that's my opposition. The sun is in opposition to my planets in Sagittarius. As soon as that's passed, then it starts waning. Then, amazingly, I start coming back to life because it's almost like the planets are the sun, the present day sun is rejoining the, um, you know, my planets that I have in Sagittarius. So uh, that's, that's the story of my life. And then of course there's other aspects and there's other factors and such, but anyway, so I'm going to share screen. Just uh, let me think, what can I say? Uh, you know, I went down to Florida for a couple of months. There was no work here. We all know that, you know, uh, everything kind of like, slow down or die down for business and with everything that's happening in the world. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resume doing some videos, but I'll tell you like a major thing. I had all my documents scheduled to go out to the, you know, to the treasury and the IRS. And then I got connected with a new group that, that was a hard pill to swallow. Uh, a friend of mine, you know, that I met through this YouTube channel, uh, he joined a private group and I, I signed an NDL and I'm a member of this group after he told me about it. And it goes through this in a completely different way. And I am, you know, able to discuss certain things. What I, what I'm going to tell you is that um, the end game goal is to, become private and to deal in equity um equity equity meaning your birth certificate uh this is the key thing right here you got to get your birth certificate done right you got to get it authenticated and then you're going to get a um you know even the other groups talk about a you know there's going to be a cover sheet that is going to say all right well who's the beneficiary uh, beneficial um beneficiary of that birth certificate after you get it authenticated. So let's go over that. What is a, a properly authenticated birth certificate? Wherever your state is, and I'm going to tell you a, 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 a secret. After I did my UCC and I sent in my, my request for some birth certificates, I sent in pretty much uh, six birth certificates I requested. They sent them within four days. It was unbelievable because they were aware of the UCC, it takes a couple of you know weeks or a month to kick in, but I mean with New York, last time I got a birth certificate, it took me, it took me about five months. So just getting the birth certificate took me five months, and everything from COVID, uh, I shouldn't even mention that word, but 
uh, with the pandemic and such, the office was closed, uh, you know, for in-person meetings, uh, not in-person meetings, for uh, walk-ins to receive your birth certificate from the Department of, um, you know, birth certificates there, I forgot what it's called. But uh, so this time around, I got it in pretty much, I mean, I sent them a request and it was, um, I paid for expediting, you know, um, like next day mail. And I got it very, very quickly. Uh, and then I found, you guys got to do this. Once you get your birth certificate of whatever state you're in, right where the, um, right, if you, if you can't, if you're having trouble going down or anything, like say you got to go to the Capitol and you're, you know, two, 300 miles away, which I'm a hundred, I'm about 80 miles away from, you know, Wall Street, basically, where all these offices are. I searched and I found, and I got, was blessed because I found the best expediting company. They do all the authentications and stuff. And um, you could pay for them to do the whole thing. The company wanted to charge me 500, but I only wanted to do the, the, the one part of it because, uh, uh, you know, I didn't have the money at the time. So I, I spent 250 for them to do all the state stuff and they had a back door into the even me even for me to get it so basically you get your birth certificate then you got to get it certified at the county recorder uh it's not recorded they just certify your um the notary signature that you need that exemplification letter if your state has that so I got my birth certificate when I got it through vitalcheck.com. And then I got the, um, uh, what, what's the name of that letter? The indemnification? Wait. Uh, oh, man, come on. I'm drawing a blank. I just said it. Uh, exemplification. Yep. The letter of exemplification. New York City has that. An exemplification letter that comes with the birth certificate. Then with those two sheets, are they, they send them apart. Then you bring those into the county recorder of the place where you were born. Uh, for me, I was born in Brooklyn, but they told, they guided me to go to New York City to get that done. So it was weird. And New York City is a different creature. But for you, it's most likely the county that you were born in. And then you get them to uh, certify the notary signature that sent you the exemplification letter. Um, or, or your birth certificate that has the, if there's a notary on there or so, so you get that certified, then you got to send it to the state secretary of state, but this is critical. You have to pick the proper country. If you don't pick a non Hague, uh, a permanently non Hague, cause there's a lot of company co countries that go in and out of Hague. So now you, um, you got to pick, I, I'm going to, this is a little tip. I mean, it's either Morocco, uh, you know, Cuba, you know, I picked Taiwan. I was guided to pick Taiwan. I'm sure that that's not, you know, um, you know, violating, you know, my NDA, but I pick, I picked Taiwan and um, because they're, they're not hate, but I guess there was a reason why, you know, my mentors are, are, are guiding me and, uh, that shouldn't be too much information to, to be in violation of an NDA. So, but I, I know that Morocco is as well. And then, um, so anyway, because if you don't, they're going to send it to you a pastille. It happened to me. They sent me three, um, three birth certificates. I picked three countries that I have dealings with, you know, last time I picked Colombia, um, Mexico, because I want to have dealings with, I go to Colombia, I go to, you know, I go to Mexico. And then the last one was, um, I can't remember. And I still sent those out to get them authenticated at the, on the federal level, even with, because I didn't want to have to start fighting with New York state and send them back. Then they have to take the staple off, take the rivet off anyway. So I already sent those, those I've been at the at Virginia, Washington, you know, at the United States Department of uh, State for oh, about 40 days now. They should be coming because everybody's been on holidays. You know, the people that sign that once that's a good sign, it, uh, you know, because if you send it and there's something wrong, they, which they did that already to me, they sent it back to say, hey, you don't need it. You don't need it, Apostille. You don't need it authenticated. You already have it, Apostille, by the state. But uh, and then that came back within a week. But 
but that's a good sign because they've already reviewed it and they're just waiting for the you know for the fat cat i can't remember what his name is uh to basically sign off on it and it's been 40 days so those are coming i'll see if i can do anything with that i'm going to bring it like i have a cousin that's a you know a, a wall street broker but he's suspended i want to bring it to his boss and see if he could do anything with it because i don't know how and the people in this group they don't want to tell me or you know you know they want they they it's basically uh academy where you have to learn from the ground level so it's almost like a big long course of how to do it the right way uh and they won't they won't give me any shortcuts so i honor and respect that and it's not cheap you know this group is not cheap but if anybody you know my emails everywhere so um yet don't need at gmail.com they're not gonna let any they're not gonna let anybody in that's you know for gazy or uh you gotta be real deal you know, committed to, committed to, you know, bringing in heaven on earth for you to get accepted to this group. But I feel, and uh, my heart tells me that I'm in, I'm in the right place, but you do have, you, you do ultimately go private. I mean, you can have companies and LLCs and do whatever you want. You know, I'm going to have a ton of them, but as far as you, you completely dissolve the straw man. And then, you know, ultimately, you, the, the, your, your name, there's a way that you can get your name. Um, what happens is Google, believe it or not, and YouTube, they reference the Library of Congress. They reference the Library of Congress and anything that's there that has a copyright. Uh, I mean, they're a trillion dollar company or multiple, who, who knows how many dollar company Google and YouTube is. So they, they have a way of, uh, so your name gets removed once you do the copyright claim with the Library of Congress, which is key part to it. Uh, to my knowledge, I haven't done it yet, but you send in your co common law copyright, you send in your fee schedule, your security agreement, and you know now it's not a private security agreement. You know, I, I took, I'm going to be taking that word out of the private uh, private security agreement, just calling it security agreement, and then. Um, you could do a fee schedule too. I, I think I mentioned that. And then there was one other thing. Oh, and the, um, uh, power of attorney. All you got to do is those four things. Then no matter you could do the administrative process, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go private. You don't have to do anything. You could make millions and billions of dollars. You could even add a legal notice and demand at the, uh, uh, library of Congress. You don't even have to go into court. Once you send in the administrative process, you, you know, you file. I've never done it yet because I have other things. I'm in survival mode. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make money. I'm doing, I'm still doing chimneys and stuff because I, I do path of least resistance. If I have to spend, you know, a week doing a, like say administrative process, my body also, it freaking rots away in front of the computer. I have to get out. I go running every day, which what really ignited this video is I was, I was doing some purchases of some supplements. So I want to go over these supplements with you, but so the birth certificate, uh, you know, let me finish with that. Then I'll get into the supplement. So the birth certificate, what you do is, um, and then you make sure it's authenticated at the state level. You have to pick a country, pick non Hague. If you do Hague country, and, and you, you know, you got to make sure you might make a mistake, then you got to do it again. Uh, and so Morocco and Taiwan, honestly, Cuba, I don't really know, but I think I picked Cuba. Uh, but th this time I only sent one in, I only sent one in and I used Taiwan. Let's see what happens. I'll give you the results. I'll show it. So, I mean, I could even show you, I have a, a video of, um, all my documents all signed and sealed with the fingerprint and the dollar stamp. And I had, I, I, it's right at the time when I was going to get them notarized and send them in, my friend tells me about this. And I was freaking my jaw dropped. I'm like, and then I hurried and, and, and joined the group. I did the interview process and, you know, they accepted me, you know, thank, uh, thank the creator. And um, it's slow. It's slow. You got to really do the reading. You know, you got to do the reading, but um, I did it. So anyway, and uh, so that's the birth certificate. And I told you about the, you know, legal, I should say the Library of Congress. That's the key. That holds up in international court. 
you know, that holds up in federal district court. And so then you get some, you get a sheet like a, of, of a, like an affidavit of beneficial owner on top of it. I haven't done it yet on the authenticated birth certificate. And then you, um, I believe you record it in a federal district court. And then that right there is you could pretty much write checks and then you, 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 you know, you put that um, ID number on, on the check in the memo area. And then it uses that full faith and credit. And you're, you're able to write unlimited checks, unlimited amount of checks. So basically that's the key, but it's the last piece to the puzzle that not once ever, once anybody gets to that point, they have to go dark. Because if they if they go you know public with that, they it's basically you get too many people asking too many questions and stuff, and they're, they're like at no they're at no level. They did no work or anything, so you know it. That's why I'm doing this even with no video um, showing because this is only for people that you know. And I'm glad I don't have too many you know subscribers to be honest because I'm not going to continue with this channel. I'm going to go private. You know I'm going to go private, and I don't really want. I'll give a quick answer here if anybody emails me, but, you know, um, mostly I'll guide them, you know, I'll guide them, just give them a little tidbit anyway. So that's that. And Library of Congress, you could make enough money if you don't have the capability to go private because you don't have the mental um, stability, you know, maybe you want to get the mental stability. So now let me share a screen. Um, and to go private, I mean, you know, you could... Once you do that and go private, basically, before I share screen, let me hang this up. Uh, I want to say that they basically every I heard of somebody doing 250, 56 forms. And the original way I was going to do it is I was going to fire everybody. So imagine this um, on my 56 that I was going to send into the Treasury. It said something there in the description that says, fire all they didn't use the word fire but dismiss or i can't remember what word they use fire um cancel all um fiduciary appointments on the 56 form and then i heard of another guy saying he just did 250 fiduciary because once you become the beneficial owner and a beneficial um owner of the name, the name, not really, because the name is copyrighted at the Vatican, but you're just the beneficial owner of that birth certificate, which everything is based off of. You got it. You follow my, 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 my train of thought here. Um, they could, they, they copyrighted your last name. They copyrighted the name. You're not going to get that back. Like you're going to have to come up with a new name. You come up with a new name. That's why all these people have all these, you know, one name plus L like, you know, you know, this L or, you know, whatever, uh, or one name names like Prince, you know, like say print. So, uh, and then what happens is all those people, you keep them as fiduciaries and then, and then they just, you're just the benefit. So anything that comes in from that goes straight into your trust account, your foreign grantor trust. You follow, this is the key. This is the secret of all secrets. Once that happens, you just don't, you don't have to do anything. You could go do music. You could go do spirituality, go to Peru, go to freaking the Congo. I mean, that's all my plans, you know, um, you know, health, wellness. And now I'm going to start sharing. Once you get, once you become a millionaire and a billionaire, you got to act like a millionaire and a billionaire and a trillionaire probably. So, well, you know, you got to start getting the proper um, supplements into your body, which now I'm going to share screen. I was just making this order. I said, you know what, let me, let me just share it. So let me find that page um, right here. Okay. So this is my cart over here. Um, I trust you can see this. I don't care. This is my mailing address. You want to mail me uh, some, some money? I still need it because I haven't completed my project, my process. But I'm at secretenergy.com. Um, I mean, this is uh, Savan Bomar. I'll, you know, I'll give a shout out to him. You know, I've been following him for 10 years now. More, maybe 13. 
uh, and he's really he's in Costa Rica. He's got Secret Energy and he's got a uh, understanding YouTube channel. Sheila G. Oh my God, what the, the benefits I got? You got to get good Sheila G. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna have heavy metals in it. But the Sheila G. I'm not gonna go through every page, but it's pretty much tar, like you know, like asphalt from the from the road. But it's a shiny kind of asphalt. But it it's amazing. Uh, Sheila G. There's a very it comes the just the way that it comes out of the mountain in um, the Himalayas. I'm sure they have it other places as well. But um, and then you basically take a little bit, a couple of drops or a couple of crumbs of it, mix it in. If you want to do it before you go to the gym or before you go for a run. And now there's another secret: gold. Once I started experimenting with mono, I haven't had them for a very, very long time, monatomics, because I couldn't afford them or I got off of the, but now I'm getting back into that um, routine. Your brain lights up your whole body. If you're toxic, it's not going to work, you know? Um, but if you're fairly detoxified, this is going to work and you're going to basically get more spiritual. You're going to be able to absorb more of the sun's rays uh, and uh Pretty much the, um, the the frequency, the, the mana, the, the the mana, the mana, the the daily the daily messages from God. You're going to be able to receive much more of them. It's it's the theme of the day. Every day is different. The, the sun radiates a different message every day. And uh, Michael Jackson and Prince knew this. That's why when they would get inspiration for a song they would hurry up and copyright it before the next guy because they would come up with the same song at the same time if you're in alignment with the, the daily frequency from the sun. Then you got monatomic copper that assists this, you know, copper is conductive. Um, this is just a frequency for, you know, I, I, I've never had this, so uh, I've never purchased this, so I'm getting this. This ionic nano silver, I used this about eight years ago. Oh my God but it gave me a major detox reaction uh, the first time I used it. So once I cleaned up my diet, I, that, that went away. Uh, this is just a probiotic. And if you're not taking enzymes, you got to start taking enzymes. I took, I started taking the enzymes from vitamin shop um, right off the counter. And oh my God, my digestion just, but you got to get the, the uh, complex, um, basically uh, a various different type of enzymes it's like 50 bucks, even in $44 at uh, vitamin shop. So anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you. And, uh, you know, if you feel guided, there's also courses and there's an academy here. Okay, next. Let me do a uh, new share. Uh, okay, this is another. This is another site which I got um, recommended through. Santos Bonacci and Syncretism Society. No, syn yeah, Syncretism. Yeah, Syncretism Society in Mexico. And uh, I pretty much bought this. I'm not going to go into it because I, I haven't done the full cleanse. But if you've never done a colon cleanse, you have a lot of work to do. I don't have the time today, but um, you got to read through this, you know, just like, uh, you know, read through it. And but mainly I want to talk about these four bottles. They're the size of a wine bottle. This one in particular is a phenomenal. My, you know, it's basically mycelium means it's got numerous different um, mushroom extracts. Um, this one's for like blood sugar. This one's for chi, uh, you know, for energy. I believe it has. Uh, I can't remember what the ingredient in there that was critical. Uh, I can't remember right this moment. Um, this one and this one, I can't remember what they're all for. I'm not going to go into them, but you are, you know, they're expensive. I spent like 1300 bucks because I bought this, which is like 500. These are a hundred and change a pop. So that's a thousand right there. Plus, uh, who knows what else I bought. And, but I, I mixed all five of these in like a amino acids from, you know, uh, the amino acids bottle, plastic bottle. Uh, and then I mix it up and I add it to my kombucha in the evening. I, I put a lot. I put like a shot glass in my kombucha. Oh my God, I have one of those. And I've been doing that for the past month. Amazing, amazing. Um, and then I have my dinner. All right, so that's it. It was just a quick update. And um, 
on what's happening in my life. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm with this group. I did not send my treasury pack in, uh, but I will use utilize certain ones of those documents. But um, let me stop share. And I'm not going to go into anything else now. So, you know, peace and blessings. And, um, you know, I, I wish everybody the best on their journey. You know, some people go down one path. Some go down another. This is my this is my journey. It has to do with with health and wellness, um, detoxification, and you know, uh, and going private to become a true sovereign, you know. And so that's just a quick update. All right, I'm gonna end this now. So peace and blessings to all. I wish everybody the best. I'll probably start making you know more more videos every once in a while. Um, and I'm out then. All right. I wish everybody the best.